Today I'm here to replace an inducer on this unit. I didn't write it up or condemn it, so let's fix this heat up. Let's see what's happening here. Got a new circuit board and an inducer. So let's see what we doing. What we doing? Here's our inducer motor. Okay, circuit board's gonna be in here. Good, good, good. Take the door off. Take my blower. Okay, blower just came on on its own. Oh, there was a three flash up here. One, two, three. Okay, I got a three flash. One, two, three. Good, three flash on this unit. What, what, what does it mean? What, what, what does it mean? Let's see, see, see. Three flashes. The three flash. Roll out switch open, pressure switch open with combustion air inducer on or pressure switch closed with call off. Okay, well, I don't feel any air coming out, so let's. I believe the guy that 209 volts. Okay. Now. Two hundred and nine volts off of that. off of that. Why am I doing the board? Let's just see something. This is coming off of red and yellow. Red and yellow. Yellow's this way. Red is going where? Okay, so, so from here, combustion blower. Okay, so no power is coming from that. It's just back beat. So let's just see what is. I hate. Okay, so there. The ground. I have 120. So that's not back beat. I got 120 volts there. Doesn't look like backbeat to me. Let's swap this inducer. Let's just swap this thing out real fast. To me, it doesn't look like the board. Your gasket's good. So, gooseneck could stay. Wires can disconnect from this. Oh no, no deal. Oh, ha, it fell out of my bag. Oh, well. that's all I wanted. Not in here. Yeah, no, I know where it is. I can go down and get it, but I don't wanna. So, I just gotta cut this using something else. Let me use something bigger. 
instead of the tool that I would rather cut it with. But whatever, boom. So off the side of my way. Motor's free. in the middle because I start going the wrong way. Good, we're free. Oh, one more. Okay, we're out. Okay, motor, yeah. I understand. I mean, look, it's even overheating here. So, could even be a bad cap. So, here we go, here we go. Let's get this old gasket out. This is why face HVAC techs will not touch their face with gloves on. Because your gloves, look what I'm touching. Fiberglass insulation. Y'all. So I wipe it out of my way. Perfect. But you think I really want that on my face? No. That's right, we're really good at keeping our hands clean. We are. So after that, I am not with these gloves touching my face. I remember at the beginning of this whole pandemic thing, my wife was like, I don't trust you going to stores. You're going to touch your face, blah, 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 blah. And the biggest problem with that is she doesn't realize I wear gloves all day long. When I'm wearing my gloves, I can't touch my face. Dun, 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 dun. Only way I could do it's this way. Can't do it the other way. Boom, oh, all the screw holes match perfectly on my first shot. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's get these screws back in. Nice, easy job. One, two, three. Boom. Dum, 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 ba dum, dum. And then, and then, and then, and then, Okay. Yep, one more screw missing. I got this guy. Good for the doors, not for an inducer motor. There it is. It's a door screw. Aha, here we go. Boom. Now. Down now. Okay, let's we're off. Good. And I'm gonna plug this guy back in. Maybe the board wasn't feeding once or twice. We'll find out. Okay. It's on. If you look in the air here, all those sparkly things, I don't know if the camera's picking up. All getting blown out of here. Probably shooting out of here as the stuff gets sucked in and out. There we go, and we're lit. I'll leave it up to the building owner if they want to do the board or not, but this thing's working, and I guess I'm most likely going to be out later.